everybody, it's your girl Miss T Talk. I am here with Eric Devine. How are you? I'm doing fine, thank you, Miss T Talk. You're an artist. You don't only sing, you rap, you produce, you engineer. You're like, I don't know what to call it. It's not like a triple threat, but it's like a lot that you do. But I feel like your most powerful thing that you do is sing. How, what inspired you to become a singer? Uh, well, initially I wasn't a singer. I, I uh, started off trying to rap. Mm. People told me I was like trash, so I tried to switch it up. You know what I'm saying? And I, I kept the, the rapping, and the, you know, I kept it in the back of my mind. But you know, I tried singing, and uh, people told me I was okay. And some people said they liked my rapping better, so I tried to go back to rap. Okay. It was like a repeat cycle thing, so I just decided I'm gonna I'm gonna try to sing better. Okay. Um, and what happened was, you know, I just started practicing and experimenting more and more. And one of the things that got me like really heavy into singing was my sister. She, um, my older sister, she's always been a singer, so she's always like sang and stuff like that and uh, that's good to come you know from like a family who sings you know it's yeah. a little bit of inspiration as well yeah my sister Shelly she's uh she goes by Zephy I'm Zephy, Zephy. I like that yeah she's um she's firecracker definitely <laughs> wow. so you, you're talking about people's opinions so do people's opinions actually kind of you know you we, we we're gonna be like we're in a world where it's constructive criticism always so when people was like, okay, your your rapping is trash, did that kind of like really get to you? I mean, like you switched off from rapping and then doing singing and then doing rapping and singing, but did you do that based off people's opinions or did you do that based off your heart? I learned to take criticism a different way, like as I matured as like a person and as an artist. Um, one thing that I learned is at the end of the day, if you're a musician, you have to listen to people to some extent. Yeah. Not everyone's going to like what you do. Not everyone's going to like your music or appreciate your music or even think your music is good for that matter. Mm -hmm. But um, one thing that I learned is to take everything in with a grain of salt. Don't let it destroy you. If anything, you know what I'm saying? Take the critique, listen to the critique, and build from it. And you slowly start to become better because the more... The more you, the more you get, the more you get critiqued, then the, the better you can become if you apply the critique and yeah. what they're, what they're saying to you. So I, I dropped like 131 songs November 14th. I went through this little melodramatic thing where I said I was. Yeah, I, I wanted to definitely get into that, and you really shocked a lot of people. Yeah. Why did you just was like, you know what? I'm gonna just I'm done with this music thing, and then you had a link to your entire catalog. Why did you do that? Because I felt that one my honest opinion is I and I've been struggling it with, with, with it for a couple years now I just feel like honestly people trying to do music um, it's oversaturated and not everybody oh. is talented like mm -hmm. not everybody can make good music people just want to make music because everyone is making music and that makes it hard for people who actually die for this like every single day like and I like sacrifice so much of everything it makes it hard for the people who really are passionate about it for the people who just want to go in the studio smoke weed and just yeah. just like you know make something that sounds cool for them and their friends or whatever I want to get famous like but they have no passion and no like care in what they're actually doing and like you know sincerity in what they're doing and you know what I'm saying it's, it's just it's just it just boiled me over because I put in so much time and so much work and I've just sacrificed so freaking much yeah you know to see like these kids like or not even kids but like even people in my age bracket like 25 and under like doing this like and not being good at it or not yeah. and not trying to improve it, 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 it like honestly i'm not a bitter person i but it pissed me off because it's my passion and i mean i this just it's just it was just completely oversaturated and i just felt like i had just released so much music that it's like I mean, like, people can say what they want, mm -hmm. but, like, you have to listen to my music to understand where I'm coming from. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And I consider myself to be more or less of a songwriter, mm -hmm. more so than even 
a performer, if you will. Like, okay. I haven't even done too many live performances. I've done a couple, but yeah, actually, I seen you not so long ago. Yeah, like a, like a month, like a like about a month ago with, with, with J Six. Yeah, J Six and Tail. Yeah, Tail, Tail, and and uh, Flyboy Mills. Those are like those are my homies. I think uh, they're 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 supreme talent. And uh, also, I gotta shout them out. You know what I'm saying? We don't talk too much, but Dre right now, man. Uh, of Jay Rennell? Jay Rennell yeah. and uh, JP, mm -hmm. uh, Josh, B Champ. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people. So what makes you want to, I mean, you stopped, you went on a little, you know, was going through a little bit, and then you came back. What made you want to come back? The passion that you, that you had, or you wanted to just, you know, make new music, show people what you're about? Like, what really made you want to come back? What really made me come back is I'm very, um, I'm very into, like, spiritualism and stuff like that and I feel as though like certain things I'm not saying like religious wise I'm just saying very you know I just believe everything happens like purposefully mm -hmm. and um the day after I said uh, I'm gonna quit whatever you know I had emails I was shocked I got like a ton of emails like from excuse me because I also put up a picture like on Instagram with like a long paragraph explaining why I quit it was a huge paragraph yeah I wrote a book yeah and I had people like hitting me up like Yo, man, come on, man. You're the reason I like this genre of music, of arm bass, whatever. And you yeah. inspire me. Like, dude, don't quit, man. Like, I love your music. You're an inspiration for me. Like, and I just was like, you know what? That's that's nice. But I was still telling him, like, <laughs> yeah. you know, I got to quit, dude. Like, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting older and I'm not really getting any benefits, you know, from it, like, financially, monetary wise. Okay. All right. And, you know, it's, you know, it was, it was messing me up. But um, what made me actually dive back in it was I got a call from the America's Got no not a call I got an email from the America's Got Talent people when I sent my online audition and they were like yo we want you to come and audition for us so oh. I took that as a sign you know what I'm saying to like alright well I'll give this one last shot and the thing was I had to go to I, I decided they had auditions in New York City but I had I had signed up for it in Savannah Georgia where I was living at a time and I oh. figured that that would be like the best the best it'd be the last big push for me yeah and the journey of getting down there so many things happened along the way that was just like monumental not necessarily monumental but it was just like it was like a like it was just my, my whole my whole journey was paved like, okay. you know what I'm saying? My provision was paid. Like, when I went down there, I just went with the dream of just, you know, going in and doing my best. Okay. But it's like, I didn't question the universe. I didn't question any of that. I just went straight forward and just knew my provision would be made. Like, I had nowhere. Like, I moved from Georgia. I had, you know, I had a couple buddies and friends, but there was no guarantee, you know what I'm saying, that I could have stayed there. So, what do we have coming for you in 2018? Um, 2018, I actually plan on approaching part of the reason I should say this too um, like I shouldn't have gotten frustrated and, and tried to quit because part of that was my my own fault because I was focused so heavy on the making of the actual music that I forgot about the biggest part which is like the business side of it and the, the yeah. how to make money side of the marketing yes, and stuff like that yes, yes. and you know what I'm saying the 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 branding so it's it's my fault at the end of the day you know what I'm saying not because I wasn't working hard like I was like busting my ass off like I said I dropped 131 tracks on November 14th like at yeah, one, time, one and, time and that's like a condensed version of like what all I have you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. uh, but yeah I'm focusing more on like uh, solid projects with like good imagery and like a, a just like a good like a shape like I want it to have like a continuity all you know right. what I'm saying to projects you know so what I mean so we're really gonna hear some good nice music coming from you in 2018 Okay. Well, see, I mean, you have a lot coming up. A lot of people rock with you. A lot of people rock with your music. And I'm glad that you're back on the scene. And, you know, people can know exactly, you know, what you were going through and, and, and how you overcame. And, you know, just got to be stronger. And really, I'm, I'm excited for your music this year. And I better with Nika Moore. I don't say oh, Nika yeah. Moore. Yo, Nika Moore, Eric Devine, <laughs> collab that happened. Um, and, you know, just, you're, I mean, you're on, you're on a good path. I mean, you, especially one thing I like what you did, you're trying out for, for, for these auditions as well. A lot of people want opportunities to come to them. But how we make it forward, how we grow, we have to reach out and go to them. And I like, I like your effort. 
Wow, mega effort. Mega <laughs> effort. That's funny that you said that you like my effort because I said that same exact sentence on my mega effort, which is on YouTube. It's M E G A E P H E R T. And I said that same exact thing. I said, Yeah, we know that this life is full of potentials. Easier said than done when you dedicate all your mental to your passion, but it's crashing because everything around you, surround you, and pound you, pound you into the ground and dismount you straight up off your couch. You crouch and tiger mount you, then devour out you. What you talking about you? Really are about to take these steps. I doubt you. That should be an mo, not because the limo. My advice to you is step out and do, cause there are people who grind until the sun come up and keep on going, never slowing. Pain is showing, blood, sweat, and the tears. They own it all in the effort to outdo you. We got a tea hey, talk on, freestyle man. over here. <laughs> tea talk freestyle. Yo, but I thank you so much. Thank you so much. I was really, dope. I was really excited about this. Like, yeah, this is you. dope. I'm glad that you know we got this together after seven months, literally. I feel like, yeah, after that, and, and we, we made it work, and I'm, and people are really going to rock with you and see what you got to offer. Thank you, Miss T-Talk.